Um, now we're going to try to do something even more you know, uh, 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 something even more challenging technically, I believe. Um, we've got someone in Germany who, who um, Philip in Germany, who's going to join us, and Corey in Vegas, is that correct? And we will see if we can have a three-way conversation, <laughs> um, which would be tremendous, um, and have that on the webcast. I see... Oh, maybe four ways, is it? <laughs> this is amazing. Okay. Um, hello. Can you hear me? Okay. No, okay. You can't hear me yet. Okay. Um, we're just getting the final setup. And just to let you know, also, coming up very shortly, we hope to have the refugee, uh, the Sierra Leone Refugee All Stars um, doing a live feed to camera of their sound check and, and they give an amazing performance on stage. They play some great music and um, I think that'll be a, a, a fantastic way to, to carry on and then we have some things set up with Rose Mapendo's um, clip coming up and John Dow um, who was a, 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 um, a, a, a lost boy from southern Sudan. Um, I'm really looking forward to both of those because I haven't seen them. I'm looking forward to talking to our friends here. Um, and that's, I, 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 I can see you on the screen. I don't know if anyone else can see you, probably not. And I know we will have a sound check very soon too, but this is pretty exciting technology and um, it's exciting to have been in the camps and in Colombia in the IDP settlement and now be talking to some friends with a, a, a a heart for these issues and, and a, a keen interest and I know in Germany at the moment it is very very late so um, <laughs> so welcome hello hello there we are all right we got you um, I just I uh, I got interested in the topic of Darfur um, some time ago about three years ago um, and over the course of the three years I've done a lot of uh, uh, various types of uh, activism, um, you know, a lot of rallies and uh, he's talking to Corey? campaigns and whatnot. Uh, this kind of technology really hits to the heart of uh, what what we need, and that and that is education. People need to know. Now, even um, with the um, technology that we have, you can see that we didn't really reach more than like three, four hundred people. A topic like this, with this kind of technology, should be getting to thousands and thousands of people. Now, I really think that this technology makes us all available to us, but really it comes down to us as individuals to go to go out and educate the people about what's going on. You know, even with Twitter, Facebook, and everything else, it it really doesn't connect us the way. You know, a heart-to-heart -heart conversation can can do. You know, that's how that's how we reach out to people. Yeah, and that's how you got to educate them. I I to totally agree, and I think for us this has been a test case, and it's been wonderful to see how the technology works, and and next time. We'll just have to make sure we bring in the people to make it work. And and lastly, I think um, it's 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 going to be fascinating. I, I think three or four hundred people at one time. But I I really want to have a look at the results over the twelve hour period because I know people have come in and out. But um, but it's still you know it would have been nice if if some of the Googles and some of the um, media of this world had had come in and um, really backed it. But actually, we've just seen this 12,000 unique visitors today. So um, I think oh, that's, 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 that's a great success. So um, I, I, it could be bigger, but 12,000. You know, and it's, it's, this test case is, is, is awesome. 12,000 people is, is, is incredible. And next time, millions. I agree. So, um, is it 
Philip? Yeah? Hi. Welcome. What time is it there? Um, one o'clock and 40 minutes. <laughs> what city are you in calling evening. from? Um, I'm calling from Paderborn. It's in Germany. And can you tell me or tell us what, what intre interested you? Um, the people who live, uh, who live in these camps. I um, wanted to see how they live and um, what kinds of people this, uh, there are living. Um, how the people are going on there. Did you learn anything? Yeah, I learned um, that uh, refuge is uh, a problem of our society. Oh, oh, that's oh. bad. <laughs> <laughs> we can still hear you. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, I heard it now, it's better. Um, can you repeat the question? Did you get any insight or learn anything new? Um, not really new, but I get a better view of it <laughs> and um, understand it better, uh, um, connect emotions with the uh, knowledge. Emotions, um, yeah. yeah. Very good. Do you understand? Yes, I, I do. I wonder, Corey, if you can respond. Honestly, I, I couldn't really hear him that well, um, but um, from what I understood, he uh, you know he just wanted to come and learn new things about how the people were surviving there, and uh, you know, th I think that's why groups like Stop Genocide Now, Gabriel, Katie J, uh, Yulin, people like that are so vital because we can't go there. Um, we can't see them on a daily basis, but Stop Genocide Now different groups like that they can bring them to us and that's what this this kind of form uh, really provides us we can't go to the refugee camps but in this case we were the refugee camps were able to come to us so we can now make this personal you know and that's the important thing is I don't think people really uh, are going to get involved unless it becomes personal um, and this is what we need to see them you know the people and, and learn their names and their stories and once you make that connection people are going to start really taking action yeah. I wonder Philip did you hear that yeah I heard it uh, the sound was really good and, and um, did it make sense yeah it makes sense to me and it is just what I said I could connect with the people and um, connect um, emotions and see how they live see what uh, people there are uh, there are living there yeah it's a good um, uh, operation that you have done, or okay. yeah, my English is not the best, but I do my best. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's very good. Um, okay, I wonder if we just have one final sh short s statement from you both, and then we'll wrap up this and go to the next session. Corey, uh, uh, if I could say anything. If I can say one thing to everybody, one final message, I would say, even with Twitter, with Facebook, with uh, technologies like we're experiencing now, I want to reiterate that the only way that places like Cambodia or Rwanda or Germany, uh, the Holocaust, things like that are going to stop happening is if we as people get involved, we have to go out and educate other people about what what is happening and what is happening now. Um, so please go out, educate people, talk to your friends, talk to your family, let them know what's happening, and uh, let them know about operations such as this and uh, Stop Genocide Now. Let them know how they can get involved. Yeah. And thank you guys very much. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you. That was great. Corey, one last word? Certainly. Oh, no, sorry. Philip. Philip, one Philip. last word. Yeah, okay. Um, my uh, message is really simple. I wanted to... Um, We've can lost you hear me? Audio. I hear you. Okay. Hello? I, I think we, we need to leave it at that. 
farewell. Really nice okay. to have you join, join us on this webcast. Thank you.